Today we're gonna just demonstrate how to ascend a rope. So the way that I've set up my system here is I have an ascender for ease of access to go up. I have a Purcell Prusik tied to my left foot. And in, ensure, to ensure myself that I am connected with the system at two points, I also have just a, a little sling hooked from my belt loop up to the ascender. I have uh, my ascender, my Purcell Prusik, and I'm tied into the ascender here. Um, on this side, for my second point of contact and for resetting uh, my, uh, to be able to step up onto, I've put my rescue sender onto my lanyard here. All right. All right. So what are we doing here? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this up as high as I can, step up, and as I step up, I'm pulling the rope through the rescue sender. Can you walk us through the transition from ascending to descending? Yeah, so um, I put the rig on underneath the rescue sender while my weight was still on the rescue sender. And then I stood up with my left foot so the weight was on the ascender. While my weight was still on the ascender, I took out the rescue sender and then lowered my weight onto the rig took off the ascender and then came down. So is there one right way to ascend a rope? Um, everybody has their own technique. I think the important thing is that you need to be safe first and foremost, and to be able to understand the process that you're going to use. Try to remain to have two points of contact, especially when going up, when going down. Um, I know that there's different opinions, but for something like the rig, I feel like it is uh, sustainable because if I let go of the rope, it will catch me. So there's my brake. So I just use one, but if you're using like an ATC, it may not hurt to have a, uh, an auto block or, something. or have someone on a fireman belay just in case you let go of the rope.